This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and postmortem for the Atlanta Hawks and Cleveland Cavaliers. I said that this was going to go 5 or 6, but apparently Cleveland had other ideas. Um, a sweep of the Atlanta Hawks, one that was ended pretty convincingly, um, Game 4, where the Hawks seemed to just lay down. Of course, everybody can make the case that, hey, without Kyle Korver... Um, things were pretty much dire for them anyway. Um, that being said, with Cleveland having had some major injuries, um, Kyrie Irving barely being able to play with his injury, Kevin Love being gone since the first end of the first round, um, the Cal Corver thing kind of um, is a weak argument in the sense because Cleveland's had time missed by two of their biggest players and still were able to somehow get through easily against the Atlanta Hawks who had a good season but it it, it kind of for me it came down to what I was saying before that I just I just didn't really believe that much and I didn't think that they were that good of a team um I do think they're a very solid team but I think the series kind of shows um we have a team full of really good players they got to build up their experience for the moment um kind of like how detroit was detroit had always been a really good team back when larry brown was coaching them but it took them a little while to finally make make it over the hump because they were another team that was a really solid team with some really good players but they didn't really have elite players to carry them over the hump so they needed to do just a little bit extra to get over that hump and eventually they were able to do so and win that championship i feel like atlanta is kind of down the same type of path it's not a bad thing either because that you know that leads to a lot of potential for a very successful future for the atlanta hawks so Hawks fans shouldn't be ashamed. Of course, I know a lot of people are still um, railing on the Della Dova thing. By the way, everybody who commented on the video I did, I appreciate your insight, your input. Um, very inter interesting, heated topic for sure. Um, nice to get to um, hear different perspectives on that whole thing. But Moving on, now Cleveland is waiting to see who they will be facing in the nba finals most likely it'll be golden state but we can't necessarily close the door on that until it happens but for now lebron can sit back and i guess revel in the fact that this is his fifth straight finals um of course i'm sure he would have liked it to be a more successful five straight finals run than the two and two that he has um but Nonetheless, that's impressive. That's very impressive that this guy has been able to go to five straight finals. Um, testament to how good he is. Especially with the injuries this year. I think this one has to be one of his sweetest moments um, of his career. Considering that they built this team to kind of be a mock image of what he had in Miami. And... Things didn't go as smooth. Get to the playoffs, lose one of your biggest players, your second best player on the team, and the heir apparent to the Cleveland legacy. He's been dealing with, you know, a foot injury that's made him almost ineffective for the rest of the playoffs. This is a this was a good run. This is a very very good run. Um, Will be interesting to see if he can close it out. But hey, Atlanta Hawks fans have nothing to be ashamed about. You guys had a great season. Um, sucks it ended like it did, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.